As we get into the Conservative Party conference, 30 Conservative MPs have signed a pledge not to vote for any more tax rises. Uh, and Michael Gove has urged the Prime Minister to go for a tax cut. Jeremy Hunt, however, has promised to end the vicious cycle of ever-rising taxes by cutting costs to public services, um, primarily by using new technology, reforming the benefit system, presumably making uh, a number of civil servants unemployed. Um, but that's not enough for these right-wing conservatives who want hunt, hunt to cut. You have to be very careful with those two words. Hunt to cut taxes in the autumn statement in November to kickstart growth. That sounds very much like Liz Truss, doesn't, doesn't it? But it's the Liz Truss fans, her little cadre of people who regret her going. Uh, she will herself address a growth rally on the fringes of the conference uh, tomorrow, I think, uh, in which she will claim she was right all along to push for aggressive tax cuts. Uh, the policy that she was promoting um, under the aegis of uh, Kwasi Kwarteng's prodigious package uh, is something that she is going to claim uh, disintegrated into a disastrous mini budget simply because people didn't give it time. You have to give you have to give time for the thing to grow. Um, it's like listening to, uh, to 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 Zorba explaining how to tell a story. Uh, let it grow, let it grow, tell it slowly. Uh, but no, uh, Liz Truss tried to do it all um, very fast. And while the country was reeling from the experience of the death of Her Late Majesty the Queen, stupid, stupid Prime Minister. Um, rightly, rightly her term of office was cut short. Uh, so the um, Institute of Fiscal Studies have said that um, uh, we can expect a £3,500 a year increase in household taxation um, and uh, compared to what we had in 2019. Um, and uh, the, the IFS said that... Um, uh, the Conservative Party and Hunt, therefore, is expected to raise £100 billion more a year by 2024. That's if it stays in office that long. Um, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and that could not be done without raising uh, taxes on what was already in existence by 2019. Uh, Hunt has said that he would find savings by launching the biggest transformation of public services in our lifetime, i.e. cutting most of it. Um, but he doesn't quite say what he's going to do. He doesn't, he doesn't give us the detail of his plans. I mean, in one, well, one sense, one say, why would he? Because uh, people are going to be frustrated by that detail. But on the other hand, on the other hand, don't we want the detail? Don't we want to know what we're in for? What can we do to stop it? I don't know. Um, the present government, not only does it not listen to uh, questions which are put by the opposition, it doesn't listen to questions put by journalists, and it certainly wouldn't listen to people marching on the street. I mean, you know, march, go out in your thousands. Who cares? Who cares? It will do nothing. We need a new approach to uh, registering concern it's not simply a matter of waiting for an election because an election may well bring in the same sort of behavior uh, if you notice this morning on uh, laura kunzberg's show rishi sunat set the pace by just talking over her and she tried talking over him uh, and then west streeting came in and did exactly the same so it's not that this person is better than that person it's that they are part of the same breed all they know is Westminster politics. All they know is this adversarial um, haranguing. That's all they know. That is their life. We need people in politics who have experience of real life. Um, not people who are going to belittle others like uh, Mark Harper, the transport secretary. Where, where's he talking about uh, dealing with um, uh, rail? Where's he? And it's not just dealing with striking, it's dealing with the appalling catastrophe that rail is in. Uh, he says he refused to comment on speculation in the media about HS2. 
speculation in the media is all we've got because we have no security, we have no reassurance from the cabinet ministers who are sitting round a table discussing our affairs and are not passing anything on except for uh, whimsical denials and the vague... Um, uh, and, 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 and vague sentences which sound as if they are, frankly, cabalistic. We're not reading the Zohar. We're simply asking for straight answers. And, uh, you know, and Rishi Sunak's comment about the, um, uh, about a better deal, which Mark Harper also goes on about, a better deal for... Uh, motorists than the blanket imposition of 20 miles per hour speed limits in Wales it, it is nonsensical because local councils have the right to do their own speed limits um, what it, you know when, when you come down to the substance of what is actually that change which is being proposed it is nothing it is a rhetorical flourish like Rwanda and when it comes down to Rwanda, well, we'll deal with that in another video, but um, the Rwanda thing is all about one individual mouthing off about testing the limits of the law. There are thousands of people testing the limits of the law. It's called shoplifting. <laughs>